today. Sorry to drag you out of bed on a Saturday morning, and especially today is the raining day. But I will assure you today we're worth the effort. So today is about learning and sharing, and also about having fun and taking challenges. So first of all, I want to ask you a question. Who is Anne? So we got three person here. The first one, her father is a poet, and she is a compulsory gambler. <laughs> the person B, she was an actress, and she ran away from her first marriage. And the person C, she studied in computer science. She loves math since young. So which one <laughs> is me? Yeah, I know, I know definitely because this, the answer is so obvious. But I'm not C, actually I'm D. So I didn't study in computer science. And I think only nerd can code back in three years ago. And you, if you, and I'm not the only one. So when you Google the software engineer, so the guy's face will show up. So from a statics in 2017, only 25% job up, uh, um, computing job are held by women. When it comes to the tech leadership, only 11% production are filled by women in European. So it is a fact that women are underrepresented in tech industry. But that doesn't mean girls cannot code. So let's look at some of the other facts. So this is actually the person A, Adam Lawrence, who writes the first computer program. And, and her instruction about computers are still used by today. And this is the person B. Her name is Hedy Lama. She's not only a famous actress, but also the creator of the frequency hoping technology, which become the precursor of today's Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. And we got another person, Grace Hopper. She has she and her team has invent a compiler that can convert the common sense com commands into computer binary computer language. So every subsequent computer language is built on her work. So I think for this one, you are all already very familiar. She is the character in the hidden figure. And there are lots of more with outstanding female in history. And during World War, War II, actual women are in charge of the decoding and encrypt, encrypt message. So why things has changed? There are three reasons can contribute, can conclude for the why. So first, gender stereotype. Second, lack of the support. Uh, the three is in good fairism. So starting the young age, uh, girls are discouraged from pursuing STEM because of the simple, le uh, the, the simple misconception that guys are better at math. This leads to let's go to choose the computer science at college. And this imbalance, the imbalance has translated to workplace, which means the employer only got, uh, got a bi gender bias group to hire from. Mm, and even for those who have made into tech industry, women are, are, are more likely to live in, within one year than men. So citing the reason, lack of support and I, isolation. So back to my own story. So I, back, back in three years ago, I was working as an executive no, or operation executive in shipping industry. So my daily was like writing tons of emails and making phone calls to coordinate with different parties to ensure that the shipment can be complete smoothly. Um, it, it's, it is a very tedious job and re, re, re require extremely caution because what 
mistake may cost like millions of dollars. So I, I, I'm not that happy about that time. I don't really like the repetitiveness and the tedious about my job. So, so that, that is when, when I start to looking for solution on programming. Uh, what if I can write a program to automate my daily routine? So from there, I start to self-learn self the programming. So I, I really love it. I enjoy, I'm excited about the challenging and the fun in problem solving. But looking back, I was wondering why I didn't choose computer science when I was young. So I, I think there's still some of other girls share the same perception as I do before. So that's why we start to organize uh, workshops for girls. So this is a picture of our first workshop. It's just five of us, but uh, within four hours, we, five of them, we create a personal website on ourselves. So we are not a user anymore. With simple uh, lines of coding, we know how to structure and styling our website. So we become the creator instead of the user. So from there on, we organized a lot of workshops from HTML to Python, from SQL to, uh, <laughs> to Ruby on Rails. And we also organized a lot of workshops and TED Talks. So till today, we have grown a community into like 3,000 people. And, and we focus on three things. The the first is the inspiration. So we believe the power of the role model. By inviting the female leader in tech industry to share their story, we help we can inspire more girls to pursue the STEM career. And the second thing is we focus on the education. We try to provide some be friendly workshop for, for girls to get started and having fun in coding. The last thing is about connection. We are trying to build a community which we are helping each other and connect them with job opportunities, mentors, and also uh, complaints. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, today's speaker who are willing to take time to uh, share their wisdom and also our partner and sponsor <laughs> accomplice that help us to make it happen. And I also like to thank my team member, uh, Eva, Michael, and Adeline, who helped me put this together. So I, I hope you can enjoy today, and I also hope you can enjoy our community. Because tech is too important to left it by man. Tech <laughs> 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 tech leads women and tech leads everybody. Thank you. <laughs>